Shra TV, Shra TV, Mr. Bass, Rico, Rico, let's go, let's go. Shra TV, the Christian community, Shra TV, the Christian community, Shra TV, the Christian community, give to the hip hop, out to the hip hop, Shra TV, the Christian community, Shra TV, the Christian community, Shra TV, the Christian community, give to the hip hop, out to the hip hop. What's up, my Trachi Big Express fam? It's your boy Al Bass. Lico's on location right now, once again. You know, I gotta start moving around like he did because he's always everywhere. I be stuck in just certain locations, limited access. Lico, you gotta put me on, man. Well, actually, he is. But hey, this week, got another great episode for y'all. This is episode number 10. And this week, I mean, and every year, y'all, December 1st is World AIDS Day. Know your status, get tested. You know what I'm saying? It is very important because you need to know. But your situation is in your life, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like a lot of people out there, oh, I don't want to get tested, man. Because if whatever happened, happened. Nah, I mean, like, you can limit what happens and what situation takes place. You know what I'm saying? So it's very important to get tested, know your status. But this week's interview is with Sandra Ford. You know what I'm saying? She's with the Out Outreach Center. You know what I'm saying? And Lico Mack has an exclusive interview with her. And also, got a surprise for y'all. Lico Mack is doing like a AIDS, HIV rap. It's off the chain, y'all, so I want y'all to stay tuned. We'll be right back. <laughs> All right, fam, what's up? It's your boy, Lico Mac. I'm telling you, man, we doing it big. Every week, you know how we do it, man. Try TV Global, the number one on YouTube. We doing it real big, man. And but we can do it without you guys out there making it happen for us, man, doing these interviews. And checking us out, man, you know what I'm saying? So we really appreciate you guys. Make sure you subscribe to our page and so we let you so you can know what's going on. Every time we put a video up, you'll be right there to know what's happening. You know what I'm saying? Today is a very special day, man. You know, it's, it's uh, World AIDS Day today. So we was out here uh, in fucking town. You know how we do it. And uh, at TCC South Campus, we had a, a, a great event, man, representing, uh, remembering those who have, you know, has, who's gone on, passed on from HIV, those who have HIV and those, you know what I'm saying, just trying to get tested, thank you, to, to get tested, know your status, that's what it's all about, you know what I'm saying, yeah. that's why we're here today. Right here, I'm with a beautiful lady, she actually spoke today, she's one of our speakers, I, I actually performed today, man, y'all see that later, but anyway, uh, we're uh, we here with Miss Sandra Ford, how you doing? I cannot complain, God, it's truly good, it's not gay, it's not straight, right. HIV is a people disease, right. Right. That's real and, and you know, so many people thought that HIV was predominantly for gay people, uh -huh. but it is not, I'm a living witness right. that HIV, I'm not gay, uh -huh. and I am HIV positive, mm -hmm. and I know that, you know, I never thought that it could happen to me, right. but you know, I was in a monogamous relationship, and I'm a living witness that HIV will seek you out. You know, I believe, and biblically speaking, you know, when you do things that are outside of the will of God, uh -huh. i.e., premarital sex, things like that, right. you open yourself up to things of the world, and right. HIV is of the world, you right. know, right. but, you know, God is yeah. able, yes, he is. and he's still in the blessing business, and I believe that one one day, uh -huh. one day, right. there will be a cure for HIV yeah. and AIDS. Oh, you know, yeah. I might not see it, uh -huh. but our goal is to birth right. an HIV AIDS free generation. That's, awesome. That's why I beat the streets. That's why I'm out. The barber shops, the beauty shops, everywhere in the streets, letting them know what's up. Right. Hey, I hand out a condom to a preacher. Now, you know, and, and them ones need the most. Anyway, but I want to take up, you know, I was reading up on it because I did my, I do a radio show, Saga Radio. And we were talking about HIV and AIDS, and I, I was reading about actual a pill now that they have that can actually stop the baby from contracting AIDS from the mother, or either actually can stop somebody contracting it from somebody else. Can you uh, expound on that a little bit? There is a new pill that if you're in a relationship with someone that has HIV, and if you take this pill, scientists say that it will prevent you from getting HIV. Now, now you got to know now, you've got just like I got to take mine every day, you've got to take that pill religiously every day. There's no skipping, no missing, none of that. Because you got to remember how long HIV can lay dormant in your body before it... HIV can lay dormant. Scientists say up to 10 years, okay. you know, but when your body starts producing the HIV antibody, okay. scientists say that you have between, from the time you start producing the antibody, 24 months, okay. if you don't get 
treatment and get on medication. We talking about from there to pushing up dirt. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it is so important that, yeah. you know, we know our status. And then when you when your doctor tells you that you, hey, you got to get on this medication, you got to get on your cocktail is what they call okay. it. You know, you need to stay on that cocktail. You need to take it every day. Right. And, you know, I found that the older you are, and I can say that for me, um, we tend to have more side effects than the young people. Okay. But, you know, a side effect is better than a death sentence, right? right. So, you know, I have two, I have two children, yeah. and, you know, I, I, I take my meds religiously. Right. Um, that's why I, I've been all to Washington, D.C., advocating yeah. and lobbying for HIV uh, awareness, and I'm available. I go anywhere. Wow. Where there is the need, if there's a child, one-on-one -on -one in a group form, it does not matter to me. Right. I teach in schools, okay. uh, churches, what have you. Right. Hey, I even teach in a park. <laughs> and, and she's proof to tell you, I mean, she's a beautiful woman. And, 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 and like I said, HIV doesn't have a face, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, it's just now, like I said, it's not a death sentence. It is a life sentence, but you can prevent it. Yes. It is preventable, just like any other thing. Like I said, and, and early prevention is the key, just like cancer, yes. just like a lot of other things that, that in yes. this world. Early prevention is the key. So I want to say, I want, I want to ask you, like, hey, what is somebody out there right now looking at this YouTube? And and they just found out. Hey, you know, I, I, my life is in. I, I just found out I got HIV from my wife, from my husband, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. And they and they don't know what to do or, or where to go. What what what? What's your advice to them? My advice to you is to seek out somebody that is a life coach. Go to one of the clinics. They have counselors that can help you. Because I'm telling you, you're going to be in a state, in a mind state like I was. It, I was in denial for a long time. I went through a lot of emotions. So you need help with those things. You know, a lot of times HIV is bigger than us. I know that it was bigger than me. So I was lucky. Um, I ran into my mentor, Reverend John Reed, and he was instrumental in getting me mentally where I am today to where I'm able to stand before groups and crowds of people and talk about this disease and you know I, my mom asked me she said Sandra are you gonna tell everybody I told her mom I just might yeah. <laughs> because you know I, I feel like this you know just my life I'm ex-military I have never lived my life in a box mm -hmm. so and just because I have HIV, I'm not going to live a life of HIV in the box mm. either. Because that. if I can say one word, just one word to save somebody, right. then I feel like that's my job. Right. You know, I told the Lord, I said, well, when he told me, say, I want you to go out and do, you know, do HIV awareness, you know, tip. And I said, what, uh, what Lord? Mm. You want to do what? Yeah. But, you know. Because I'm a born-again Christian and I believe that God will not let you down. If right. he calls you, he will equip you. Right. So the Lord has equipped me with voice and given me think positive things to speak into people's lives. So, you know, I just say to God be the glory. Yeah, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And that is death right. And I want to thank you so much for spending time with Tri TV Express, you know, and letting people hear your story. Because I know sometimes people feel like it's the end, you know, and, and there's no other place to go, you know, but you're a living witness. See how beautiful she is, man. Just maintaining yourself, finding help. Go and let, you know, let somebody know. Don't don't hide it. Hey, man, like, this is what I got. How can y'all help me? There's people out there to help you. I'm telling you, they are. I mean, if, like I said, I'm going to let her give information in a minute. But I want you to know that that it's people out there to help you with if you if you are battling with that right now and your mind is like say you got all these different emotions going in there but if you need to talk to somebody tell them how to get in touch with you if you need to talk to me again my name is Sandra Ford and you know I don't have a schedule my time is your time my email is sg ford 1962 at live.com and you know what I'm so serious about this HIV thing. You can call me. My number is 214-934-9453. And if a little man answer, it'll be my son because Sandra is not married. So. <laughs> That's what's up. She put it out there. I'm telling you, I don't blame her. She's a beautiful woman. Letting you know, and she's not a. I mean, that, that's a, that's a, like like that poem. You said, I'm, a, I'm I'm a soldier. That's a real talk. She's definitely a soldier. She's been out. Like I said, we're in the, in the floor, DF Dub, whatever you want to call it. And she's been. I mean. I'm pretty sure the place that she's been, I haven't even been yet, you know, so she's out there. Call her. If you're having a problem struggling with anything, I'm pretty sure she can definitely comfort you and give you some nice words of encouragement, you know what I'm saying? And that's what it's about. You know, we had a 
Oh man, it was, it was a great time. We had a lot of people. 97.9 was out here, which is one of our um, uh, top stations out here, actually. 97.9, 94.5. And uh, we had my boy Dunny B, man, you know, who was out here from the La Vida Black News, who was out here yes. doing their thing, you know. Yes. Big shout out to my wife, you know what I'm saying, Cynthia. She uh, did her thing, man. She put it together, you know what I'm saying. She put it together and, and worked it out with the Aid Outreach Center. So we want you guys really, man, give her a call. Let her know how you feel. If you got something going on, please give me Sandra a call. She wouldn't please. mind talking to you, you know what I'm saying, at all. So we just want to thank you again. You got any shout outs you want to get anybody say hello to somebody? You know, I always close out because I'm a godly woman and my pastor keeps me grounded. So I'm going to give a shout out to my pastor and my church, Bethlehem Baptist Church in God's country, we call it, Mansfield, Texas, where my pastor is, Dr. Michael A. Evans Sr. Yes, what's up? And don't get him confused with Michael Evans from Good Times. Don't even try. They ain't, they ain't the same one. So don't try to come out here trying to meet him and get autographs. So anyway, that's how we do it. Well, hey, I can't talk about no hype. We ain't going to get on that hype thing. But anyway, it's your boy Lico Mac, man. I'm going to give it over to my boy, Base man. Hey, thank you guys for watching another Try TV Express episode, man. And we just try to get it in every week, man. I'm going to be showing my performance on my HIV song, too, in a little bit. So y'all be looking out for that. It's your boy, Lico Mac. I'm going hand over to Al Base. Thank you so much, Miss Sandra, for being thank on. Thank you. We'll see you guys next time. It's your boy, thank Lico you. Mac. Thank you for having me. Hey, what's up, y'all? Hey, we're back. We had another great interview with Sandra Ford. You know what I'm saying? And don't forget, December first every year is for the HIV AIDS. You know what I'm saying? World AIDS Day. Don't forget, get yourself tested, know your status. But right now, the surprise I've been telling y'all about a minute ago, well, early in the episode actually. You know, this is our boy Lee Mac. You know what I'm saying? He has a song called "Let's Wait a While." You know what I'm saying? I want y'all to check it out. I think you're gonna really love it. Be back in a minute.
hey, yo, we back, man. Yeah, Lika was out there putting it down. He represented with that song, man. Like, you blow up, I get 30%. You know what I'm saying? You know, I ain't your manager or nothing, but because, you know, we're on an episode, we're on a show together and stuff like that. But anyway, you know, I just say one thanks once again. Much love once again. And thank you, thank you very, very, very much to Sandra Ford, you know what I'm saying, for coming on, like, letting us know, like, being, like, a major advocate, you know, for the HIV and the AIDS, you know what I'm saying? You know, and like I say, once again, said all through the episode, know your status, get tested, you know what I'm saying? And once again, Lico Mac, you put it down on your song, Let's Wait a While, you know what I'm saying? And we had a great show, and don't forget to keep subscribing, keep those views coming up, because without y'all, it wouldn't be us, you dig? Now, next week, we'll have another great show for y'all, so y'all stay tuned. Don't forget to hit us up if you want to get on the show or anything. You can go to TryTVGlobal at Yahoo.com. And also, you can hit us up on TryTV, well, YouTube.com slash TryTVGlobal1. That's the number one. Hit us up on there if you check out some more of our episodes. For people that don't know, now you know. All right, but stay tuned next week. Got more footage for y'all. TryTV Global Express. Whoa, whoa. Come on, try to be a Christian, the community, 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 try to be a Christian,